Hello and welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a great day so far. You might be interested to know before we get started with today's video that over on Instagram I use the hashtag CPPhotos where you guys can share with me your photographs. And at the end of today's video I am going to be looking through the hashtag and looking at some of your photographs. But without any further delay, let's begin with today's video and let's go out and do some photography. <laughs> In terms of photography settings for going around town, I've been shooting in continuous focusing mode with dynamic area, which the uh, Nikon Z6 has. This has basically allowed me to get the focus really quick and fast. And because of social distancing, I've decided just to keep on the 24 to 70 so I can zoom in. Usually it's better to use a prime in some aspects, but I thought just because of social distancing, keep 24 to 70 on, use those settings, I'll hopefully get the focus and the photos really quickly. That was a pretty cool shot, wasn't it? I was quite happy with that one. So I swear this seat is blue. Yeah, I think it's so good and just creating some beautiful reflections like I've never seen before. And that vehicle basically says, honey, we have a van and a caravan. What should we do? Should we tow it? No, let's put it on top of the van. It'll be all right. This is a pretty sick shot and I just got passed by a Porsche as well. For some pretty sick photographs right there. Look how awesome that is. I hope you don't mind the owners, me taking the photos of an awesome bike, but it is an awesome bike. So I've never seen before, you probably can't see it, but there are fish jumping all around the water here and I've never seen that here at all. This is like such a unique sight. Like, there's a big fish right there and the harbour's right there.
Oh, are people panicking um, why I'm not wearing a camera strap? Um, if I wore a camera strap, it would be getting in the way of you. You would not be able to see what I was looking at. So I thought it'd be like better to like do it like this. Um, and also, I'm not going to drop my camera, hopefully, because I hold on for it for dear life, like a baby. You know, I'm not going to drop it. Whoa, see, I'm not going to drop it. See, I'm in total control of the situation here. Also, there's a cool Land Rover here, so we're going to get a photo of that. No window cleaning, even that would all breaking in. There's so much you could do with like old towns, like there's so many different angles, especially ones that like on hills like this, because you can overlook the town and get some awesome photographs, look at different perspectives, and just see what different angles and what different things you can find to photograph. Paradise. Oh wow. Look at that. Okay, I'm 21, here we go, here we go. We, oh it failed. I can remember when I was a kid, I saw the Queen here and I was sat in a blue block about a chair over there and that was the only time I've ever seen royalty Here, I reckon I can make some pretty spectacular photographs and got many ideas for this one location Sometimes in your home location, you just have to discover the gems because, like me you might find an abandoned bit like this. I have to be careful kneeling down that I don't kneel into a massive part of glass and then have to go to hospital. This is a pretty awesome like So we've done all the photography we can today. That is nearly seven miles walk. It's a lot of photos taken, and I think we've got some absolutely fantastic, fabulous, awesome photographs that I'm really happy with. So I'm back home, and I think I got some absolutely spectacular photographs today. I'm really happy with some of them. My favorite ones, I think, today were the vehicles, like the Land Rover, the Range Rover, the bikes, and they really worked really nicely. My other one, kind of favorite one for me, I think, was Scarborough Castle. That just looked really awesome in the fog. It's sometimes more difficult to photograph fog because there's many ways of like changing the editing and seeing multiple different ways and how you can manipulate it to look a certain way. So it's always great to have that flexibility, but my favorite ones were definitely the vehicles today, the motorbikes, the cars, they were great. And I hope you liked them as well. But before we end today's video, I am gonna look through the hashtag CP photos. So our first photograph is by Shaq pics and this is a awesome photograph i love this shot as well i love everything about it the color you shot it at the golden hours you shot it with a reflection you shot with a low angle looking up at you guys making you just look epic and really cool on those motorbikes and those motorbikes are pretty spectacular i must say 
I don't think I could ever ride a motorbike because I constantly feel like I'll be on the tarmac on my ass because I don't think I could do it. I just don't think I could do the balance or anything like that. But you guys make it look easy. It looks like you do a lot of adventures on your motorbike, so that is pretty awesome. Hope you enjoy all your motorbiking adventures. I'd like to say as well, keep up the amazing photography work. This is a fantastic photograph. Thank you for using the hashtag. So our next photographs are by PhotoAmy19, and I really do like this idea. It's so simplistic but it's so good. Get a spring, some water droplets, maybe some fairy lights in the background to get that Boeck effect and perfect. It is a really nice simplistic idea. I really do like it. It works really cool and it just is so interesting. I love the colors. I love everything about it. You've just captured it perfectly. The lighting is really nice as well. Great work, Amy. Keep it up. And again, thank you for using the hashtag. And our final image for today is by the photo craze and wow. Wow, just wow, like this is spectacular. The lightning you have captured in this whole image, like this is just spectacular. How you captured all the different bolts as well, interesting to see how you did this. Did you just have your camera doing it on a timer so it just took multiple images? Or were you just very lucky and snapped at the very right moment? Um, very interested to find out, but again, Love and think about this image. No words needed. It's just an epic photograph and it's captured so amazingly. Thank you for using the hashtag so much so I can see this fantastic image. Keep up this amazing work and thank you for everyone who is using the hashtag CP photos. So that has been today's video and I hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time, stay creative everyone, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Whoa.